So let's solve the next question. The question says that in a triclinic crystal, a lattice plane makes intercepts of length A, B by 2 and 3C on the X, Y and Z axis respectively. You need to find the Miller indices of the plane. This is a very easy and common question. So A, B, C are given the intercepts. A, B by 2 and 3C. Let me check once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I think you know the process how to find uh, Miller indices if some intercepts is given. So, just you need to first of all remove this A, B, and C terms. So, this becomes this. Then just reciprocate this and multiply with the common term. Here it is 6. Just you need to uh, vanish this fraction. That the case. That's the case. Okay. Here it is six. So six. Sorry, sorry. Here it is three. Yes. This uh, you need to put the least value to vanish it. Okay. So it's three over here. So it is into three into three. It is three six one. Okay. This the answer. 361 is the correct answer. Okay, let's go to the next question. Um, okay, I'm now solving the questions that came in IIT jam previous year paper. You people are well acquainted with that type of questions in this time, I think. If you have some problem, you can tell me in the comment section. I can help you to solve them if I can. So, this Mion problem is very common. Free response special theory of relativity. I'm just telling you how to solve this first read the question the question says muons are elementary particles produced in the upper atmosphere and have a lifetime of 2.2 mu i mean microsecond muons are traveling vertically down towards the earth's surface at a speed given 0.998 c if for an observer on the earth the height of the atmosphere above the surface of the earth is given 10.4 km, then which of the following is correct? Muons can never reach the earth's surface. The apparent thickness of earth's atmosphere in muons frame is 0.96 km. The lifetime of muons is earth's frame of reference is given and muons traveling at speed can reach the earth. What you need to do in this problem? You need to apply special theory of relativity, the most two famous formulas that is length contraction and time dilation here tau is given you need to find the time dilation okay and you need to find the length contraction by applying length contraction you will get uh, the apparent thickness as a value that doesn't correspond to option b so option b is not going to correct and it's option c you will apply uh, time dilation formula you'll get option C okay and obviously if option B and option I mean uh, option C is correct right so muons traveling at a speed greater than earth can obviously cover that distance uh, because you will have length contraction in that case that's why it, it can easily cover that distance so it's easy problem a little bit conceptual if you are preparing from for jam you have uh, you should come across this question this and this question question number 18 uh, this one yeah this is from 2017 I think I am not sure about that just have a look at this problem it's a problem from from quantum Compton effect okay uh, if you have some any problem you can contact me no issues in that and this is also you can get solution from anywhere else okay so yeah let's see a good question here this is mathematical formulation e equals to pc applies for which type of particles uh, it is not electron right e equals to pc is not applicable for electron it is only applicable for the uh, physical quantities I shouldn't say physical quantity that's the wrong term let's say particle yeah particle uh, 
which have le uh, zero rest mass like photon yes this type of particles here the form uh, options are given as photon massless particle moving fast obviously and the particle moving with the speed of light obviously so this three are correct these are facts you have to remember this not to remember this you can also understand this as massless particle and the speed of light and photon is one of that so so three of them is correct okay okay next question is fresnel's diffraction question uh, it's saying that the source slit distance and the slit screen distance are compared well to wavelength of light diffraction grating cannot be used but zone plate is used yes zone plate uh, corresponds to uh, Fresnel and diffraction grating is for Fraunhofer diffraction and the source size cannot largely uh, exceed the slit size and the slit size is not comparable to the wavelength of light used no right so option E is not going to correct the, the slit slide might not be comparable to the wavelength of light you can read any standard book for optics for uh, getting these facts and you need to practice some problems you will get to know okay so and this is from particle physics uh, i need to revise particle physics for answer this question i will discuss it later if i get some time so there is a good question this question it's a conceptual question uh, the dominant mechanism for the motion of current carriers in a forward and reverse biased silicon pn junction diode see one thing i think you know what is dripped velocity right it's for the electrons it's applicable for the electrons uh, yes in a forward and reverse biased silicon yeah see this This is P, this is M. Right. So, what happens is that, and you, you are told to find also in reverse condition, right? So what happened is that in reverse biased condition here these are the electrons and these are the holes so in reverse bias the minority charge carriers flows like this there are some small electrons and there are some holes what happens is that from this side the electrons will flow in this way So you can see uh, there is uh, the drift of electrons right and same over here in this way there is a diff uh, sorry reverse current right and this uh, electrons are flowing in this direction no? sorry sorry uh, yeah, the electrons are flowing in this direction so current is in this direction okay it's all right so yeah in the reverse bias there is drift and see in this case this is positive side this is negative side and there is high concentration of so when from high concentration it goes to a position of low concentration this is diffusion so 
sorry i have done a mistake uh, this is going in this side yeah it's a forward current the electrons are coming in this side so yeah from high concentration it is going to a low concentration it is diffusion you have two equations like this once please check the equations uh, these are the equations for which is showing the diffusion current density so yeah that's the mechanism of uh, pn junction forward and reverse bias so it is diffusion in forward biased and drift in reverse biased there is another question this question an alkaline solution has an absorption maxima given and a fluorescence maxima at this the energy lost in the process of absorption and re-emission in one quantum of one quantum is so you, you just need to apply e equals to h mu for this kind of problems if you apply this you will get e equals to uh, e c into 1 upon lambda 1 minus 1 upon lambda 2 you will get the answer as b this is easy question you can do it okay there is another question uh, from uncertainty principle the question says that the uncertainty in the position of an electron in its orbit in its orbit hydrogen atom is given as half angstrom if r and delta p denote the radius and the uncertainty in the linear momentum of the electron in the second board orbit respectively just uh, you need to find the radius and put uh, the formula of uncertainty principle and you will readily get the answer okay so these are the problems at present moment which i can discuss with you for the rest problems I will try later on so this is only for part a and part b i am not going to discuss you have seen the questions you can go through some standard books to get the solution so this is all for iapt uh, test part a all the best for next year examination or when you are seeing the video i don't know but doing numerical problems are important it always helps in life so continue doing it and one suggestion if you are going to sit for this test it's a good test before any you can just uh, you can say just it's a warm-up as cricketers do uh, before uh, the actual match so you can just take this test it's just 150 rupees form uh, so this is all for IAPT test and one suggestion to you is that uh, uh, please uh, solve IIT jam question paper because I have seen in the previous year papers that uh, in IAPT the NGP test they are giving co some questions from IIT jam as well so one question carries six months so you can understand if you get one or two questions in free of cost without just uh, doing it in the uh, copy that's an advantage right so all the best thanks for watching the video